Assalamu alaikum dear viewers Today the world topic of discussion is understanding financial statement My name is Muhammad Amar Lecturer IBS Hungry Campus Kohat University of Sciences and Technology Today our lecture number 16 So today's lecture related topic or, or the topic of discussion agenda is our activity ratio and the comparison of those activity ratio. First of all, I would like to tell you about um, the previous lecture that we started the financial statement. So analysis of financial statement basically uh, in internal and external user both get benefit from these uh, statement analysis. So the external investor like uh, trade creditors or bondholders etc could get benefit from these <coughs> analysis by using those financial ratios to get uh, in, to know about the company or stock they are investing is uh, good enough for future investment or not. So different external users have their different point of view how to check those statements. So like uh, someone would uh, like to check the balance sheet ratio or someone uh, focus on income statement ratios so previously we have discussed different type of uh, ratios like liquidity ratios uh, financial leverage ratios so today the whole topic of discussion is uh, activity ratios and also we have to compare it to the industry average ratio so the ratio comparison is today's discussion topics So you see activity ratio, the name given to first one is receivable turnover. So activity ratio is also known as income statement and balance sheet ratio. Because you see um, the formula given of receivable turnover is the annual net credit sales uh, divided by receivables. So, you know about receivable is the balance sheet item and annual net credit sale is income state item. First of all, I would like to tell you about this uh, formula that we have taken and the values put in this formula. The values are of the uh, basket formula, example that we previously discussed in our lecture. So, we are uh, focusing only on the same example of the basket wonder uh, for the year 2007. So in this ratio receivable can not over and they have given the indication hint that assume all sales are credit sales. So in this we have to assume that all sales are credit sales. So annual net credit sale divided by receivables so we can get the ratio of receivable turn over so you see they have taken the value two two double one two thousand two hundred eleven dollar divided by three ninety four dollar so means two two one one are your mm, annual net credit sale of basket wonder divided by 394 receivable of that basket wonder for the year 2007 and we get the answer 5.61 so what does this 5.61 shows so it indicates or shows quality of receivables and how successful the firm is in its collections so this ratio actually shows that how this uh, basket wonder is successful is in its collection like uh, how it collects those receivables periodically right 
in every period how they collect the uh, receivables or their collections. So now we can compare this ratio to the industry average. So the second ratio is uh, average collection period. So basically this is the activity ratio and it's also known as income statement and balance sheet ratio. As I previously told you about that you can see days in the year and receivable turnover. So receivable turnover is of balance sheet item and days in the year being the income statement item of the basket wonder for the year 2007. The same example is going on for all ratio and we see what does basket wonder have their ratio and also we can compare it to the industry average ratio at the end. So we see days in the year divided by receivable term over. So days in the year being given or uh, being given is 365. So 365 divided by 5.61. So receivable term over we have also find this in our previous slide and we get to the answer 5.61. So 365 divided by 5.61 and we get 65 days. So what does this 65 days mean? So it means that on average number of days that receivables are outstanding. So for 65 days we will be for outstanding. So now we also compare it to the industry average ratio. So by comparing comparison with the industry average ratio, the activity ratio comparison and for average collection period, you can see here is for 2005, 6 and 7, but basically we are talking about only for 2007 year, right? So in 2007, you can see the basket wonder ratio is 65 days. And on the other hand side, you can see the industry average is 65.7. So, Basket Wonder has improved the average collection period to that of the industry average. So, generally, it uh, tells us uh, this ratio tells us that uh, we can get the answer 65, which means Basket Wonder uh, has the capacity to collect its average collection period in 65 days but on the other hand side the industry average is above 65 which is 65.7 so basket wonder has improved the average collection period right for the third one you know, for the same activity ratio and this activity ratio is also known as income statement and balance sheet ratio so this one is payable turn over or you can say pt so assume annual credit purchase is equal to $1551. So basically we are uh, uh, talking about the basket wonder. So we have uh, taken the values of this basket wonder for the year 2007. So the formula is annual credit purchases divided by accounts payable, right? So annual credit purchases by accounts payable, accounts payable is your balance sheet item and annual credit purchases is your income statement item. So that's why it's so being called income statement and balance sheet ratio. So figures show uh, 1551 dollar is basically your annual credit purchases divided by 94 dollar that is your account payable so we can get the answer 16.5 so this indicates this indicates the promptness of the payment to suppliers by the firm right so we also compare it to the industry average ratio activity ratio comparison 
table pen over in this. Likewise, we seen the year 2005, 6, and 7. But basically, we are talking about the year 2007. So in this basket one, they will get 22.1, and on the industry average, you can see this is 46.7. So it's large difference. So basket one has improved the payable turnover in day yes we are clearly seeing that basket one day is 22.1 and in the other hand side industry average is far far long which is 46.7 now we are also comparing the inventory turnover ratio to the industry average right so we are, we are seeing that the year from 2005, 6, 7 and we are talking about the current year that is 2007. So in this we see basket wonders can get a 2.30 ratio and industry average have 3.45. So this shows that the basket wonders have a very poor inventory turn over. Right? Yes, you are seeing that the basket one has 2.3 and uh, industry average has so uh, very uh, uh, as compared to basket one is so good that is 3.45. Now we've been uh, focusing on the, the trend analysis and trend analysis of inventory turnover. So in this diagram you can see on horizontal axis the year 2005, 2006 and 2007 and on vertical axis you have the ratio values right. So the red line shows the industry average and the blue one shows your basket wonder. So it is clearly seen that the basket wonder is below average than the industry average. So activity ratio, total asset turnover and this activity ratio is also being called income statement and balance sheet ratio because both income statement and balance sheet uh, items are being included in this ratio as we seen that uh, for you know, net sales divided by total assets so net sale is of income statement item and the total asset of this balance sheet item of basket wonder for the year 2007. So the net sales are two two double one dollar and the total assets are two one six nine dollar. So the ratio we get is 1.02. So this indicates that overall effectiveness of the firm is utilizing its assets to gen generate sales yes you know that because it's net sales over total asset ratio so now comparison between the basket wonder and industry average we seen for the year 2007 basket wonder is 1.02 and on the industry average we have seen 1.17 so basket wonder has a weak total asset turnover ratio as comparison to the industry average ratio so in this lecture today we talk about uh, ratios and specifically the activity ratio and also its comparison to the industry average so overall in this lecture we talk about activity ratio so previously we uh, started our uh, lecture on the financial statement analysis and we know about uh, that the uh, users of this financial uh, financial statement analysis are uh, of internal and external both so currently in this lecture, we will talk in detail about the activity ratio and its comparison. So these are the related links you can visit uh, the YouTube, YouTube to watch the video 
related to that topic or you can also visit those related links to get benefit or to get to add your knowledge related to this topic this is from my side and stay blessed